good day ones and welcome back to my channel i am <clears throat> in the house bored out of my mind can't get my nails done it's been about a good i want to say like three and a half weeks since i've gotten them done as you see i have you know some new growth <clears throat> i love my nails i'm like obsessed with them love my nail girl but as you guys know we are in quarantine right now and i can't get my nails done so so yeah times are tough you know um but today i'm gonna try something new and interesting and i'm gonna try to do my own nails so let's just see what i got first things first i got some lysol and i'm about to lysol these bags down Okay, because coronavirus. There's things out here. I got this power drill kit. <coughs> Those streams are strong. Okay, so I'm finally back. It's the next day, and let me just fill you guys in on what happened. So, as you know, I bought this power filer, right? Power file, whatever it's called. It has like a nail dryer and everything. I charge it, it wasn't working. Like it wouldn't even turn on. I don't know what was going on. But anyways, long story short, I ended up not doing my nails last night and I just had to wait till today and I had to go back to CVS and buy a whole nother one. Well, I had to exchange it. So here I am ready to dive into this joint. So let's just get straight into it. Here I have all my supplies, the nail drill, a couple brushes in case I want to do some designs, some nail stickers, some gems. This is all from CVS. I also have a nail file and some nail polish. This is OPI Bubble Bath and Alpine Snow. And I have some nail polish remover and a clean towel. So first I take the medium size white drill and I just start buffing out the gel that was already on my nails and I'm just going back and forth between that and the nail file just to make sure I get all the color off. drill just because I feel like it gave me a little more control for my cuticle area and I just filed that down so it's ready for when I apply the acrylic and I'm just gonna keep doing that to all my nails making sure that my cuticle area is nice and filed down and prepped <music> I'll call this thing but I call it a nipper <laughs> so I'm using a nipper just to get off the extra skin that I couldn't get off with the drill just so I have like a perfect you know seamless looking nail now I'm gonna open the acrylic powder and pour it inside the nail bowl all this comes inside the kit that I bought from CVS so it's really really user friendly and all you have to do is just apply a little bit to the root because I'm just doing a fill in so I'm just applying a little bit of the gel to the root and then I dip my finger in, get it loaded with powder, and just tap it off. Really easy, really simple. If you were doing a full set, then of course you would apply the tips and then do these same steps, but of course on the entire nail instead of just the root. seconds I took this sponge that also came in the kit and wiped away some of the powder that was left over before I wanted to add the second coat so in between each coat I let it dry for 30 seconds wipe away the powder put more gel add another coat of powder let it dry for another 30 seconds and just keep repeating I did that about three times just to make sure I got it hard enough and thick enough to my liking but you can do it as many times as you want. I'm pretty sure if you were doing a full set, you might need to do it a few more coats. I got 
my coats applied, I went ahead and applied the activator, which is gonna harden it and make it hard and strong, just like acrylic. basically just going back into the same steps that we did in the beginning using the nail drill and you know filing down the cuticles filing down the nail making sure everything's even buffing it out all that jazz instructions it says once you're done buffing it out to apply another coat of the gel which was the same gel that we used to apply the acrylic powder on top so that's what I did because I have no idea what I'm doing I'm just following the instructions and it actually gave it like a nice glossy finish but it didn't really matter because I was putting polish over my nails anyways but if you were using like a color of this dip powder that would be really cute also, quick disclaimer, I went ahead and put some glasses on because for some reason I think I was a little too rough with the gel and I like flicked it into my eye a few times and that junk burnt, okay? So make sure you put something to cover your eyes just in case of an emergency. But as you see here, I'm just applying the OPI bubble bath first coat to a few of my nails, letting it dry and, you know, continuing on the other hand. I was really nervous about this because I've never even done my own nails before, let alone a French tip design, so this was a bit far-fetched. But basically, I just put some polish on an aluminum foil piece, and I have a bunch of makeup brushes that I'm never going to use, so I'm using them as nail brushes now. And I'm applying the polish. I wanted to do a V French tip, so I just start sculpting it out, testing out a few brushes, seeing what works, what doesn't, you know, all that jazz. And it actually turned out pretty good. I used the angle brush with some um, nail polish remover to clean up the edges. And it turned out pretty sick. I'm pretty proud of myself. So I did two nails like that on that hand. And I was kind of just winging it, seeing what I like. Kind of just going with the flow. Now I'm just taking some of those stickers that I showed you guys and applying some of the unicorns and some hearts all over the nails, seeing what I like and just making it cute. And voila! It turned out so cute. I actually really love them. I can't wait to get my gel kit in the mail so I don't have to use regular polish anymore and I can use some gel. But I'll be making plenty more videos for you guys. Stay tuned. Love you guys.